Chris Kelly, Rocky Point Copper Stills, coming back at you. I am showing you the uh, pothead that just came out of the bath and Eric scrubbing on this thing a little bit with a little bit of steel wool. It's got a six inch ferrule stainless steel, TIG welded to a six inch piece of pipe that is then in turn brazed to the copper cone there and the sidewall and the top are put back on by brazing with silver rod 15 percent silver using the acetylene oxygen torch number one tip won't get it hot enough this is 14 gauge copper as you can tell i use a pixto tool sitting right over there and that puts that bead around my cone and the edges of my cans <clears throat> sort of gives me a guide See a nice circular guide. And that's where I know where to put that inside. And then I've got a wedge there that I can braze that copper into. So yeah, there's the port for the thermometer. Inch and a half union. No, inch and a quarter. Union. That is a lead-free brass fitting that goes with it. Not in really contact anyway. But anyway, let's go look at the rest of it. All right. Who's Hudson? What's up? Man, this is a citric acid bath with the recirculation pump you can see. That's the 58 gallon can that's going on. It is electric or gas. You can put a cap on and you don't have to have the element. I put handles on it. So damn heavy and awkward. I had to put handles on it. There is the worm can. 22 gallon worm can. And here's Eric over here finishing up the thumper. And it is a 15 gallon thumper with a uh, three inch fill port and inch and a quarter pipe come in. Thanks for watching. Rocky Point. Please share.